Blackwing combo time! What if I told you this forgotten deck is actually broken? Everyone remembers when they first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Wings is one of the decks that a lot of people started with. This is years ago. The decks I started out with was Pendulums before it even came out. Get on the Pen God! But in today's video, we're gonna take our Dark our Darkwing Blast neighbors of Drago Slayers, Black Wings, and showcase to you guys how good they are. They are truly broken. It's gonna end on an unbreakable board with just one card. So stay tuned in the video and let's get it. Before we get into this video, I want you guys to check out the description down below where you guys are gonna find the greatest playmats in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go check them out right now. We got awesome playmats out there for you guys. They are so sexy. Check them out. Also, check out the beautiful sleeves. And I want to give a big shout out right here to Lon and Jim, who created a spreadsheet of not just 43 Draco Slayer combos, but also like 30 uh, Blackwing combos as well. So if you guys love this deck of Black Wings, I'm also going to leave a link to the description for the spreadsheet. They are selling it for $25, but on my website, I'm selling it for $19 for, like, for them. I don't make a dollar out of it. All proceeds go to them. Pen best deck. Stay tuned for the entire video. So this is going to show you what happens when you hard draw Simoon and one random card. One random Blackwing. You play a bunch of Blackwing monsters, so it doesn't matter. You have lots of ways to it. And there's lots of different options. So it's not just Simoon. There's other one-card combos as well. And I'm going to show you guys two of the crazy one-card combos. So one of them, this is a one-and-a-half-card combo where you use Simoon and any Blackwing. The idea is you go Simoon, get Black Whirlwind, and this is going to get Suthry. So Suthry is one of the new cards that just absolutely busted. This card says when this card is normal summon, you get to add uh, one card that matches Blackwing Dragon from your deck to your hand. Tribute one, monster special summon, a token, blah, blah, blah. You cannot special monster, 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 single monster. Broken. This combo is going to utilize a one and a half card combo of Simoon. Uh, so Simoon and any Blackwing. And the other version is going to show you South 3 and any Blackwing. Actually, actually insane. Like, look. So the idea here, we're going to go Whirlwind, add... Oh my god. This... Like, like we're just going to plus like crazy. We're going to take these two. Uh, Blackwing's going to Blackwing. This is a weird name, this guy. This is a pretty old Blackwing. Nothing the Starlight. Nothing. Nothing. I know thongs in Australia are slippers, but thongs where I'm from, there's something else. So, at this point, uh, we're going to use this effect to get Sothri. We're going to summon Sothri, get Black Whirlwind. This is going to get Blackwing Twin Shadow. So, for those who don't know what Blackwing Twin Shadow does, uh, it's, uh, it says, Return two of your Blackwing monsters that are banished and are in the graveyard to the deck, extra deck. Special summon Blackwing Synchro or Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck, uh, whose levels e exactly equal the total levels. If you control two or more Blackwing monsters... You have three. You can activate this card from your hand. Actually, a crazy extender that you just need to play in this deck. If you guys notice already at this point, how many monsters have we summoned? Like, 40? That That's what's cool about this deck. It, it, it's... You you play so many one-card starters and one-and-a-half-card starters that it's not like this is just strictly one random hand. This is one card, two cards, and you still have hand traps on top to stop your opponent from playing. Then you just destroy your opponent. The combo now ends off here going... Ends off. Basically starts off. A Raid Raptor Y Strix. This is going to go for that and going to Rusty. Who remembers Rusty plays? Now, this end board is going to end on Kaliuga. I think Rusty is mandatory. Rusty is just too crazy in this deck. Everything's a dark. You already end on Y Strix. And it's just too good. I might even go as far as saying playing a flood, uh, Fog Blade, but you, you just don't need a Fog Blade. It does kind of get in the way. All you need it for is the Rank Up Magic because the Rank Up Magic will allow you to Kaliuga on the opponent's turn with multiple interruptions. Here we're going to go into Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon, uh, go into Raider's Wing, and then here end on a Synchro 8 a Draco Berserker Tenny, Borload Savage Dragon, can end on Boreas the Evil Wind, and rank up Magic Launch, and you're going to rank up Magic Launch the Arsenal Falcon into Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga, for those who don't know what it does, literally says your opponent cannot activate effects for the rest of this turn. Period. Doesn't even activate. So your the second you activate the card, your opponent loses the duel. And because you have Borlock Savage Dragon to protect this card from resolving, it's over. GG. And they actually can't even activate Dark Ruler because you just do this on top of this. There's no answer to this card. The only answer is like Cosmic Cyclone in the draw phase because it's only during the main phase. But you just Savage Dragon it. So this board's an unbreakable board that you do with one and a half cards. Now I'm going to show you guys the other one and a half card combo. This is the one and a half card combo utilizing Suthri. So this version will be Sothri and Shamal, but you could basically use Sothri and any other of the other Black Wings and still end on a very similar board. They're, so they're, the first one was when you open Simoon, this one when you open Sothri. They both have the same premise. 
you you want to end with Kali Yuga. This is the whole premise of this deck. Kali Yuga is, is an unfair card. And if you're playing a deck like Black Wings, Black Wings are insane. I do love this deck. If you're playing a deck like Black Wings, why not end on something that's unfair, like Kali Yuga? The deck could do easily, like easily. It, the, if you're playing a deck that has one card combo, why not? You utilize your other five cards in your hand or four cards in your hand to stop your opponent. And then you just use the last card to literally FTK the Rasa Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is an FTK. And it's not just a blind Kali Yuga with no, inter no like interruptions on top. It's a Kali Yuga protected with Savage Dragon, which is so vital. And you have more stuff on top. Like this, you have Twin Shadow, which is a quick effect. Like, you have still so many extra interruptions on top. Uh, it's just absurd. So, big shout out to Lund and Jib for creating this. You can check out their spreadsheet down below. Also, if you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button. Also, check out the Beautiful Trip Game Playmats. Let's now go check out the deck list. This is the deck list, and the premise behind this deck list is all the three of you really want to open. Like, between Simun, Sathri, Vada, and Shamal, you want to open all of these. Whether they're starters or extenders, they're all broken. So, these nine new cards, they're new. You, you just want to open them. Don't play them at one or two. Play them at three. Now, all on top of that card, in conjunction with cards like Black Rowland and Small World, you now have 18 cards that are like, wow, to open. So you also, on top of that, you play 10 hand traps. Playing a hand traps, hand traps like Bisted, our DD Crow, Synergize with Small World. So it's also nice to play. That's also why you play Radiant, Synergize is nice with Small World. And each of these one ofs, Zephyros, Harmitan, Oroshi, Chinook, Gale, Vayu, Rider's Wing, they're one ofs as part of the combo. that are also built in extenders, a lot of them. So you still play them. It's not bad to draw them. They're still good to see. They're just good one ofs that are searchable. So you want to play them. Versus the top 12 over here, which are all cards that you really want to open. You don't really want to... Like, it's not like, oh my god, I need to open a Roshi, oh my god. I mean, it's an extender. If you open it, it's fine. But the other 12 on top is just far better. Uh, so you prefer those. And you could, if you really want to play extra hand traps, let's say. Uh, I say you keep the Small World because the deck is just insane with Small World. It, you really just want Simun and Sothri. The, 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 that guy gets access to your whole deck. I'd probably remove two of the DD Crow. I'd keep one DD Crow in. I'd, I'd remove two DD Crows and an Upstar. If you this is, if you really want to play Hand Traps. And an Upstar Goblin for perhaps three like Drolls or three Nibirus or something like that. This is only if you really want to play Hand Traps. But versus that, just side into Hand Traps. That way, when you're going second, you know you have a billion. This is the extra deck. Y Strix, Rusty, Kali Yuga, Arsenal Falcon... Blackwing Assault Dragon, the guy looks cool. Blackwing Full Armor Master, Hot Red Dragon Archery in Abyss, Blackwing Dragon, Borlook Savage Dragon, Draco Berserker, the Tenny, Silver Whirlwind, the, uh, the uh, I was about to say the Ascendant, but that's literally how it's pronounced. Obsidian Hawk Joe, Boreas the Evil Wind, Rakiri the Rain Shower, wasn't this guy in Lion King? And then Nothing the Starlight. That's the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I want to give a big shout out again to Jib and Lun for creating this. Absolutely amazing. And it's really cool, actually, there's, like, 18, third to, the third, 18 of the random ass fucking number. There's, like, 30 different lines of this deck. You could end on Kali Yuga. I prefer Kali Yuga in this deck because when you're playing a deck like, like Black Wings, that actually post side deck have the possibility to put, like, 15 hand traps, 20 hand traps if you really want to. Like, post side deck, if you really, really want to, you could remove three Smart World. You could remove Raiden. Maybe one of the one ups here. That's five. You could remove Upstart if you really want to. That's six. And that makes it room. So you have 16 hand traps. So you have room for 16 hand traps without sacrificing the actual engine. And because you're playing, you're drawing a sixth card for turn, uh, it, it the consistency loss from playing small world doesn't matter. But you're playing 16 hand traps plus. You can play, I guess, 18 even if you really want to. So the side deck was really good in this deck. Decks like this that are one card combos like Simun and Saw 3 uh, really are, are really, really good with uh, extra hand traps post side. So that's what I really like about it as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. If you're going to be able to play my I love you guys. Almost 100k subs, baby. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.